Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of Combatants Will Be Dispatched. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I really just said discharge in my previous video. What the? I I'm stressed. <laughs> I am stressed and tired. Mm. Well, let's hope you guys don't, you know, misplace them. Are you going to straight up eat one? Yeah, it's always magic. Uh, okay, Rose. Is it the Alaskan bullworm? Shut up, Grim. <laughs> Honestly, I do too. Mm hmm. It's the Alaskan bullroom, ain't it? <laughs> no, it's a saggy! <laughs> it got, oh my god, no, it looks like an armadillo! You know, I am too. It, it, but, you know, we got to stay here for a couple more weeks. Alice, what the hell? No! <laughs> no shit. Now y'all about to walk the rest of the fucking way home. Well, at least you have one. Yeah, that really isn't enough, though. <laughs> you walk. I mean, honestly, that sucks. I, I can't imagine, like, walking in the desert. Of, of course, like, when it's nighttime, it is colder. But, whoo, <laughs> I couldn't imagine walking in the day. Like, fuck that. I mean, here in Florida, the highest it can get is 90 to 95 degrees. Maybe even 100, especially when the summer comes. Because here in Florida, where I, in the part of Florida I live, um, because I'm not close to the water, it's cool, but then it's hot, hot. Now, when I go on vacation in the next couple of weeks, where I'm going, because I'm going deep, deep down towards the ocean and shit it's gonna be hotter and girl imagine going outside in a pair of jeans or some some fucking leggings bruh i will literally probably die so i can't even wear like mm, i can't even wear the color black because dark colors retract the sun and it makes your body heat up and hell i might have a fucking heat stroke and we don't want that right Okay, Monty. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Damn, day one. Oh, God. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It 
It might even take y'all five days just to get back. Oh my god. Exactly. Fuck you, ass. Mm, of course. See, now, this just reminds me <laughs> of the one episode of Stardust Crusaders. The fucking Stan was the sun. <laughs> First time when I watched the damn show, I was like, really, everything's a Stan, huh? And then we got to the episode about the fucking sun, and I was like, what the- <laughs> Even rewatching it <laughs> still made me laugh. Yes. So do you want to get enough points to get a car again? We are really desperate though. You can do it to Grim. Yeah, Grim just knocked out, so it should count. Remember, guys, we're desperate, so. Yeah, but you did it. God damn. Day four? Woo, Jesus, help me. Take the wheel. Day six. Oh. Ha. Huh. Yeah, I'm hungry too now. Day seven, Jesus. You know what I really wanted? As much as I'm currently drinking this now, I wanted iced coffee. Like, oh. <laughs> what, we that desperate now? <laughs> I'm 
little evil plants. idiots. Oh, I bet. <sighs> yeah, cause she hungry. She hungry. some water <laughs> I, I mean she doesn't really want anything sexual she's just hungry Who will eat first? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, shit. You know, honestly, I feel like everyone's at their limits, guys. You know, <laughs> it's been about a hot minute since y'all been walking around this desert, but like, oh, God. We know, Rose. You, you're hungry. I think, honestly, I think Rose could eat anything right now. Once again, <laughs> get she waiting. We've all done that, you know. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, she has no energy love. Girl might even be dead. I mean, yes, you are right. I, uh, this little bit gentlemanly of you, but at the same time, you gotta. We we desperate. I don't think it's what you think, though. Look at Alan!
No, she about to eat you. The music, oh my god. <laughs> yep. <laughs> exactly. Both of them are saying two different things. <laughs> no, and she's about to eat you. In the food way, yeah. Cause she hungry. She ain't horny. She about to eat you, eat you. That should be enough for a buggy, some food. <laughs> there you go. Yay! See, y'all should have just did that day one. This was crazy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, because y'all have nothing to bring back. I mean, you still have the one, but like I said, that ain't enough. Yeah, so you should be working for free, mofo. Yeah, and people might die.
honestly, this might be a good idea. But still, once again, y'all fucked up. Two episodes in a row, and they fucked up. I mean, you know, mm. Like I said, I thought how caught up from slime was fucked up. But no, they, these idiots. My lovable idiots have fucked up so much more than how got up. I mean, goddamn, like... <laughs> the fact is, it makes you wonder... <clears throat> When they jumped out the buggy, why didn't they take <laughs> the water nuts with them? I understand, yes, the mole was coming to get them. And it's like, okay, you know, we all got to jump and we only got like a second to really think about this. Take what you need that's most important and most valuable to you. But the water nuts was the most valuable fucking thing because we needed it for the kingdom. And no, we all fucked up over it, but it's okay. <laughs> At the same time, it's not okay. But you know what? This is what happens, like, okay, so the last day that we saw them on walking was, like, day seven. Bruh. I, I can't. I couldn't. I could not last probably even a day, not even a day, an hour walking in the blazing hot sun in the desert. That would, would just kill me. That's how I felt earlier today. I get that. Mm, 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 mm. So it seems like, kind of, maybe, I'm not 100% sure, and I am freezing the fuck up now. Oh my god. <clears throat> This is why I should have restarted my computer before I watched this, but no, I'm still, like, downloading something that's going to take, like, three more hours to finally finish. But, okay, continuing, as I said, from what it seems like in the preview, these three are going to go visit Six and Alice, possibly, maybe? So I'm guessing they're going to have something major or minorly important to do. I'm not 100% sure on that because it's just a guess from a preview. But, I mean, anything could literally happen next week with the fact is that now they're going to go steal something from the two characters that we already know of. Um, but yeah, all this to get water, right? <laughs> all of this just to get water. I mean, because the thing is, you know what they really could have done? Um... They could have just gotten enough evil points, as they did when they got the buggy and the probably some food. Excuse me, oh my god. Um, and the drinks and everything. They could have got like a whole bunch of water and given it to the kingdom. And we would have been okay. Nobody thought of that? I mean, like, I, I, I mean, cause, come on, let's think with our heads. You know, we got five people, right? Hold on. Yes, five. <laughs> five people, five lovable idiots, and not one, there was never one person who was like, hey, you know what, why don't we just get some water, water, bottles of water, or just a big ass thing of water, and then put it in the cube, and then say dick festival, and let it rain down on this mofo, and that would have been okay, everybody would have been happy, right, but no, nobody thought of that. I mean, because, like I said, you know, if for evil points, and the fact that you could possibly summon, like, anything, literally kind of anything, how they summoned, like, two fucking cars. So, I mean, y'all could have summoned some damn water instead of going out getting water nuts. But then the biggest thing is, like, okay, once they run out of water, how are they going to get water then? 
but yeah, th- this episode was fucking hilarious, I think, out of all of them. But this was just also indicating, like, how desperate are you willing to go to, you know, get evil points and also get the fuck out of the damn desert. Because, like, oh, Jesus. I, you know what? And let me go ahead and say this. For the people who probably live in Nevada, Las Vegas, heck, even here in Florida, especially in certain parts of Florida, I'm guessing where the more towards, like, the ocean, so, like, Miami, Orlando, maybe Tampa, I'm, I'm not 100%, 100% sure, but, like, down from where I am, I, I can't believe y'all doing that, because, like, it, like I said, it gets hotter the closer that you get to the ocean, um, than it is here in the part of, um, Florida I live in, but, I cannot imagine living in Las Vegas, Nevada, or anywhere in Nevada, or even era fucking Zona, and how hot it gets there. Or even Texas. I, I've seen TikToks and and know people from Texas where they go out, they bake, some, they get some cookie dough or whatever, cook you some damn eggs, and just put it outside, and it, and it cooks. Because it's that hot. I couldn't do it. I don't know how y'all do it. Mm-mm. Especially if it gets, like, with the situation that just happened when it got too fucking cold. And then, hell nah. <laughs> I- I'll take a hurricane. <laughs> As someone who has lived in Florida and Nebraska and dealt with hurricanes and tornadoes, I'd rather deal with a hurricane. That's it. I will never live in the Midwest again because tornadoes are a bitch. But, like I said, I will take hurricanes and hurricanes only. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 9 of Compassions Will Be Dispatched. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 10. Bye, guys.